This is how you walk him. You know we've been working on we've been working on that behavior for some time now. So he's more he's more relaxed. Go off on the road. Okay. So pause. Correction. Yeah. The far way to hold the leash. Use your thumb. Put this around your thumb. And then you grab it here. That way it makes it strong for you to hold. I repeat, keep your thumb like this. Put this across. Then you grab it. Two sides. Then here you can hold for support. Just in case the dog by chance or by mistake. This hand gets uh, get off the leash. You can still have control over the dog with this one. Now when you're walking too, you walk like this. Don't give the dog space and too much room to move about. If you allow the dog too much space to go around and to move, the dog can start controlling you. The dog starts walking you instead of you walking the dog. The dog, you're not following the dog's speed. The dog is following your own pace. Right? So how you walk is how the dog is going to walk. The dog is only mirroring your movement. If you walk fast, the dog should walk fast. If you walk slow, the dog should walk slow. Not the dog trying to drag you around and move you anywhere he feels like or checking things around. Now, if the dog tries to pull forward too much, I push, I pull this backward. I'm not raising the dog up. This is animal cruelty, you can see. I'm not choking the dog or raising the dog up. I'm only pulling him backward. Now he's relaxed. You can see there's no tension on the leash. He's relaxed. The moment he tries to go forward, I pull like this and I stop. He holds the dog. The whole idea of the training collar and the leash is to control the dog and not to punish the dog. There's a huge difference between punishment and control.